Hello YouTube. Back with uh, a Burke and James 4x5 press camera this time. Uh, I just picked this camera up a little while ago and it's another one that I have not yet field tested. Uh, I haven't run my way through all the other cameras that are waiting to be tried out. But when I looked on, on YouTube and really on the internet in general, I didn't find a whole lot uh, on Burke and James. There's a lot on Graflex, the two are similar, um, <coughs> but I didn't see anything really useful uh, to help me with this camera. So I'm just going to go over what it is and how it works. Really no instruction or information beyond that here. just wanted to show it off. So Burke and James 4x5 press camera. It's got the embossed logo on the front of the somewhat worn leatherette opens up a little stiff and then pull out the front panel like that now this one came picked this up in a junk store for like 20 bucks I couldn't pass it up because uh, it's it's in working condition it comes with a Schneider 18 centimeter lens so it's 180 millimeter which I found out through a website uh, that I'm gonna I'm gonna link below. Uh, this guy's got a huge wealth of information on uh, the the press cameras in general, mostly Graflex, uh, but also the uh, rangefinders. So it's got its sh working Schneider lens. Uh, you probably already know, but I'll show you anyway. Open it up this way to it stops, and with this one, the focus is right here. And when this is coupled properly, uh, you can use the rangefinder. And this, I can't think of the name of this rangefinder. Well, I can't think of the name off the top of my head. Um, but you'll find it in the links below. Uh, information on, because these are a science unto themselves, and it, these were made uh, by a, a second, a third party for this camera and Graflex cameras. Anyway, so you got your adjustment. Uh, this one has a an adjustment lock, so you can turn that out. Let me make sure it's visible. Yes, and that'll hold focus right there. Uh, it has, like they all do, a removable lens board. And it locks back down. Uh, this is fully adjustable for its up and down forward motion. Uh, I'm not, I don't know a lot about that aspect of it. So I probably will not mess with that until I've done some more research on it. Uh, this one also has a parallax corrected, parallax correcting viewfinder. At close range, um, you can press this little button here, and it'll make your your viewfinder tip up just a little bit, so that when I forget what the range is, but it's fairly close. This will uh, correct the difference between the viewfinder and the ground glass viewfinder in the back. So that's kind of cool. Um, this one had a carry handle which was no good so I replaced it with a lady's belt that I got for a couple of dollars at the Salvation Army. Um, it has This one has the tilting back and this is kind of stiff but if I can get it to work easily I'll, I'll show you. It's got a little doohickey there which is kind of not user friendly. You flip that and if it'll work this time sure there it is and you can turn the back around so you can change your, your perspective from uh, landscape to portrait As I said, this one's a little stiff. 
but it works. And let's see what else. On the rangefinder, when I got this, uh, the rangefinder was, it's got an arm in there. Let's see if I can do it better here. There's an arm in there. Should be able to see it now. This arm right here should float, and when I got it, it was all it was bent in like four different places. I had to straighten it out. Then I had to make it. It got stuck, so I had to continue. As I was saying, before my camera crapped out again, uh, it got stuck, so I had to make it float again, which was another bunch of tweaking with the arm and the, the, the two connections. It also has a sprung dog leg connection here. Uh, I'm not going to go into the adjustment right now. I haven't done it myself. Um, uh, but when I do, uh, I'll probably do a video on that. Uh, it looks fairly involved, although not really complicated, if that makes any sense. In any event, uh, the one thing this was missing was let's see, right here there's a brass tab that needs to stop this arm which is connected to the split image range finder uh, on my camera it was snapped out so I had to make a fresh one um, so that as the focus goes in and out which of course it won't do right now It'll also work that arm and keep the range finder and the, the uh, adjustable bed synced. So that's that. I also replaced a screw right here that it acts as a stop. Um, one thing I did find out was in this camera, uh, apparently the bellows have been replaced at some point. They're in really rather good condition. Uh, there's barely a mark on them. They're still soft and pliable. I don't, at least I haven't yet found any tears in them. Oop, there's one. There's one right there. I'll have to take, take care of that. But at some time, well, I think the bells were replaced because they're it's slightly crooked in there. But be that as it may on the back you've got the uh, ground glass focus which too is in you know the, the I don't know what this stuff is if it's canvas or impregnated something or other feels like canvas uh, was in pretty good shape uh, you're not, not going to be able to tell from this but uh, the ground glass is in good shape I took the back off I cleaned it up I put it back together again catch on this is a little funky but nothing's perfect and then of course you take take your film cartridge and that goes in the back and you pull out the dark slide and you're ready to take a picture so like I said I haven't used it yet like a lot of the cameras I show but uh, this is another one I'm really excited about taking out I got it, it's working. The uh, shutter does everything it's supposed to do. Uh, it's, oh, I've got it crooked. Well, in any case, the shutter has a multitude of settings. Uh, however, at this, like I said, at this length, it's too long for the range, the arm range of the, uh, of the range finder. So I had to get a shorter focal length lens and this information I got from uh, the Graflex guy, who I will link below. Uh, and he, he told me what my maximum probably was for this camera. So I got, got lucky and I, I happened to have a Polaroid MP4 lens, which fit right into another lens board. And I will use that and I'll couple it with the rangefinder. Because apparently each lens 
has to be readjusted or the when you change lenses the rangefinder has to be adjusted to suit that lens so I don't think I'm gonna get that far into it but I will keep you up to date on how far I get with this until next time